Glad you guys made it back for another episode on a Sunday. That's right, guys. It is the hottest selling reserve list cards in Magic this week. April 23rd to the 29th of 2022. That's right, guys. Get your coffee, kick back, and get ready for it. Because this is your hot top 10. Well, here we go. You guys saw the intro. You know what's about to happen. Welcome back, everyone. MTG Moxman here. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world of magic. And thanks for hanging out with me today as we go over some great reserve list cards that made it onto the list this week. And a couple I've never seen before made it. So it's a great time to be here to check out the video today. So let's start our trip down the yellow brick road. Let's have a good time with it. Can't wait to see your comments in the comments section. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. All right, guys, this is your hot top 10. So we're starting our journey out down the path of the yellow brick road. At number 10 is Gaius Cradle from Urza Saga. Now, this card has a price tag that is really high. You're looking at $1,025 US to start this card out, okay? The market price there is $1,032.20 US, and then it's 629 euro 64 cents to get this card into your house. If you wanna buy this card in Canada, it's between $1,200 and $1,500 depending on condition, and there was 25 sales this week, which means 25,000 bones just changed hands to get copies of this card. That is phenomenal. Way to go, Gaius Cradle. I know it is very hard for a card like this to even make it on my top 10 list, but congratulations, because it did it, and it's phenomenal. Let's go ahead, let's pop down here and check out the number nine card this week on our path down the yellow brick road to number one, and that is going to be Copy Artifact from Revised Edition, with 27 sales this week. Now, the average price for this card is $86.61 US. The market price is $85.55 US. And it's €67.08 to get that card in your house. Here in Canada, you're looking at about 100 bucks to get that card, give or take, depending on condition. Now, as soon as you start going to older versions, you want an unlimited, you're paying 500 You want beta, you're into like 1000 You want to go alpha, 1500 or higher. You see where I'm going? It just keeps stepping up. Revised is the cheapest version you can get and it's on the reserve list. So revised copies at 100 bucks is a deal. And the fact right now it's only $86 US, you can see people are starting to bite, and this is not the first week this card has been here. I think it's on its second or third week already. Copy Artifact is definitely gonna be in my card to watch videos next week, where I'll go into some more in-depth explanation about this card. Now, when we're taking a look at Power Leech, again, another card that is in its second week. This card's been hanging in there with some strong sales, 29 sales this week. Now, as an Antiquities card, and we have Brothers War coming up, I can see why people might be specking on this card a bit, but it's always been a fun card, especially in Artifact decks. Um, average price is $28.21 US. The market price is $24.71 US, and it's 24 euro, one cent to get this card into your house. If we're looking, Somewhere in Canada, you're looking around 35 to 40 bucks Canadian, depending on condition. Keep an eye out for this card to move further. The strong sales out of the blue do make me say, what's going on with this card? I'm paying close attention, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at number seven on our journey down, and that is going to be Fork, popping onto the list yet again. Fork is one of those cards you have to respect and say, yeah, I like copying spells. This is an old school favorite for a lot of players to have. And the sales this week are in revised edition. Okay, guys? Revised again. Now, an average price of $54.99 US. $53.47 is the market average. €30.61 to get this card into your house. And it's anywhere from $70 to $100 Canadian, depending on condition for this card. Now, it's been trending down for a very long time. You can see there from 2021 all the way into 2022, it has had a steady decline, but the sales keep picking up here or there, and they're fairly consistent at always having five to 10 sales a week. This week's a bit of a pick me up, makes it back onto the top 10. Congratulations to Fork Revised Edition. And as soon as you start going backwards, you go for an unlimited, you're getting your talking around the 400 to $500 mark. You wanna go for a beta? Close to a thousand bucks. You wanna go alpha? You see where I'm going? It gets more and more expensive. How long until Revised catches up? probably a few years away but I think it's heading down that right path where when people realize what they've got they're going to spend the money and save themselves the pain later on of trying to get this card 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at number six this week. And that is going to be Radiant Archangel from Urza's Legacy. Now, remember, look at that foil price. You're looking at $406.79. And this is not the best angel out there, but I enjoy it because, hey, it's, it's created by Sarah. It's awesome. All right, now the average price is $39.93 US. That market price is $23.85 US. It is only €8.43 to get that card into your house. Pretty good deal, actually. It makes you want to buy one overseas and ship it here. But $36 is pretty respectable. A few people have been picking copies up. I wouldn't say it's a buyout, but it's kind of had this dippity do lately with people buying it. So I'm keeping an eye on the card. I was lucky to get a near mint copy for my Angel deck, and I just I have it in there. It's awesome. And I'm looking forward to seeing what this card does in the long run. It is reserve list, guys. Remember, cards on this list are all reserve list, which means really overall in the long term, they only have one place to go. It's whoever can hold on the longest. Now we are halfway through. Let's pop down to number five. I think it's going to surprise you guys. And that is going to be Mox Diamond from Stronghold. I talked about this earlier in the week. You can look back and check that video out. And when you see this thing with 38 sales... And you look at that jump in price. I talked about the card being slightly underpriced. It was at a good buy level for people. And apparently that took hold. Because the average price is $789.10 US. The market price is $641.59 US. And it's €417.03 to get that card to your house. But 38 sales is a lot. That is quite a chunk to have happen in only a few days period. Um, and it looks like people are taking advantage of it. It's caused a spike in the price. I don't know how quick it'll rise or fall after this, but the fact it had this many, many um, sales in a week really makes me think it's on to something. Maybe people realize it was probably a little underpriced and only can go up. So let's go ahead and take a look at number four, and congratulations to Mox Diamond for shaking things up. You're up there with Gaius Cradle, man. You guys are rocking it. All right, number four this week is Ashnod Silex. Now, again, this is an Alliance card that's gone through some buyouts, and it's still hanging in there with 44 sales this week, taking the number four slot. The average price is $2.56 US. The market price is $2.18 US. And you got €2.42 to get this card into your house. It's about five bucks here in Canada. But the 44 sales and still having a good, strong listing availability means it's going to take a lot more punch of people buying this card to make it rise in price and hold. Remember, the longer you hold a card and don't sell it back to stores or other people, the more likely the price will start becoming more sticky and holding its level. It's only worth it to certain players who are looking for the card, and if they're not looking for it, it's really not going to stick at all. So pay attention to that stuff. If you just want to hold it for fun, I totally understand. Let's go ahead and take a look at the number three card this week, and that is Corpse Dance. From Tempest, another card I did not see making the list, but here it is. With 46 sales this week, the average price is $32.99 US. The market price is $30.92 US. €17.82 to get this card. 40 bucks here in Canada. And I mean, it's not bad, guys. It's not a horrible card. It's an instant, quick to use. I can see why people are enjoying it. I'm looking at this for my commander deck, possibly for my red-black commander. I'm taking the gander. You guys let me know what you think of the card in the comments section. All right, guys, you've made it this far. We are going to pop into number two and show you what we got. We have Avenging Angel from Tempest. Now, I own a play set of these near mint. I didn't pay this much, I'll tell you that. The average price is $10 US. The market price is $14.55 US. And it's €3.37 to get this card to your house. 66 sales this week is quite strong. You're looking at around $14 here in Canada, depending on condition. But it's one of those cards that, oh, it dies, and it goes back on top of your library. So it's kind of, you know, kind of like an ivory gargoyle type thing. But I like the idea. I like the, I love the artwork. The artwork's epic. An old school card, old school art. Somebody almost tried to slip this one by me, but I caught it. I, I caught you, whoever you were. If you if you know who you are, you watch my videos, go ahead and hit me up in an email. I would be curious to know why you targeted this card. All right, guys, you've waited this long. We are there. We are at that time where we take a look at the number one card this week. And that is going to be Jungle Patrol from Mirage at number one with 442 sales. Talk about wood making potential. All right, guys, this thing comes in with an average price of $2.29 US. The market price is $2.17 US. It's one euro 90 cent to get that card in your house and four bucks here in Canada. Now, this thing does make zero one walls. You can sack those walls to get one red mana. This is not a horrible card. I mean, it's easily killed because it's only a 3-2. 
and it does cost four to get out. But when you need mana production back then, if you have a Birds of Paradise in play, I guess this would be a way of getting it. So it's not the most horrible card out there. Congratulations to those who nailed this card up. You didn't slide it past me. I appreciate everything going on with the amazing sales that come up when you see buyouts like this, guys. Buyouts, buyouts, buyouts. They're never done and they're always a lot of fun. All right, guys, let me click this bad boy off so we can wrap things up today. Guys, can you believe it? Here we are at the end of the video already. Showed you your top 10. You went down the yellow brick road and you saw the gold at the end and it was Jungle Patrol this week. Last week was Thrall Champion. He didn't even make the list this week. My Soul Devi Excavations, not a hot enough card to crack that top 10. The only thing I want to mention at the end is Rainbow Veil should be here today. But at the last moment, I caught the Jungle Patrol, which took the number one spot. Rainbow Veil did have extraordinarily high sales. I just couldn't do all the editing and fixing to make it happen, but it would be on the list this week as well. And Gaia's Cradle making the top 10, totally awesome. Mox Diamond in there, can't believe it, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in and hanging out with me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Looking forward to seeing your comments in the comments section. Have a fantastic Sunday, and I'll see you guys on the live stream, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Hey guys, a big shout out to all the fantastic patrons on the channel. And if you want to be a Patreon supporter, I think there actually is one or two spots open if you're looking to join. Now is the time. Patrons rock! Hey, we made it here. Guys, we're at the end of the video. You made it right through the top 10. The golden top 10. Down the yellow brick road, and now you get your reward. That's right. Invoke the divine. I feel it, man. We had Radiant Archangel on the list. We had an Avenging Angel. Why not invoke the Divine? Going into that 10K box to chill out with us as we get closer to that top 10 because we're almost there. I can, I, can, I can smell it. I can smell it. Oh, wait. That's my coffee. Yeah. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Rockin'.